Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this other video that I've prepared for you about uh, steel orthographic projection. So, still we have this isometric block that is in the PDF format. And now it's from this isometric block that we are going to generate our orthographic views. Of course, in first angle orthographic uh, projection. So, let's get started and i show you exactly how you are going to come up with all these views the plan the front and the side view so in first angle orthographic projection the plan is over the bottom the front at the top then the end elevation at the side according to the isometric block that we have if you're viewing this isometric block from the top be viewing this face also this top uh, face plus this isometric circular block then also this other face so let me show you exactly how you can come up with uh, the plan view so first for the plan view we are going to draw a rectangle whose dimensions are 60 plus the sum of these dimensions here 10 30 50 30 and 10 if you add them up they give you a total of 130 so first we shall activate our layer for views i use the rectangle command then i'll draw a rectangle whose dimensions are 130 i press the tab key then i'll feed in 60. press enter then i'll highlight the rectangle then i'll move this rectangle up to that point there Still, I'll activate it, then I'll explode it. So, after that, I'm going to offset a line whose length is 30 millimeters of this edge. Then, I'm going to offset another line from this edge up to which is this one, but the distance between them should be. And 70. Then the last one will be at a distance of 30 from this edge here. So this one should be at 70. Then the remaining distance here should be equal to this. So let's prove it. So from here up to that point is 30. And also from that point up to that point is 30. And from that point up to that point is 70. So I think we are on the right uh, track. So let's proceed. So according to the isometric block, what we are left with is uh, to include this isometric uh, circular block plus this circular hole, and also to include the, the footings of the isometric uh, block. So first, I'll first handle these footings. So remember, their thickness are. Uh, are 10 millimeters so from this line i'll offset 10 then also from this edge i'll offset 10 and now remember that you're viewing this object from the top so you won't be seeing uh, these footings so i'm going to include them as hidden so i'll activate my layer four then lines so i will highlight them and after i'll employ also hidden line or a dotted line or dashed line whatever it may be so let's include the circular block so according to the outer radius which is 20 and now this circular block and the circular hole they are located in the midpoint of this 70 also the midpoint of this 30 so the center of those two lines it's where the isometric block is are located so the midpoint of 70 is at 35 and the midpoint of 60 is at 30 so what i'm going to do is i'll subtract 20 from 35 which is 15 then also i'll subtract 30 20 which is 10 so if i get back to autocad i'll offset a line at a distance of 10 
and also this side 10. Then from here, I'll offset it at a distance of 15. Then this side also 15. So I'll trim off these lines because I no longer need them at the moment. And I'll highlight these ones. Then I delete them. So after that, I'll locate the center of this square. Then from this point here, I'm going to draw a circle whose radius is 20. This one right here. So next, I'm going to draw another circle whose radius is so I'll click at the circle command, then I'll use a radius of 10. So remember we are using this circle command, center radius. Okay. If you happen to use these other ones, you won't get these circles. It will be giving you a circle but of different conditions. So after that, I'm going to remove the square because right now I no longer need it. I'll just highlight it and then delete it. I think uh, we are done with uh, the plan view. Then next, we are going to proceed with the front view. After the front view, we shall proceed with the end view. I'll activate my layer for projection lines. I click at the line command. Then at this point, I'll project a single line going up. I'll highlight it. Then I'll try to copy it to these other different lines. Okay, so when you're done, you shall get back to the isometric block. So for the front elevation, you imagine that you're standing at this point here and you're viewing this object in this direction. So you'll be seeing this face then also this top uh, circular block. Let's uh, get to AutoCAD, then I show you exactly how you can go over it. Then remember that uh, for the front, you shall draw a rectangle whose dimensions are 130 the total uh, distance if you add these uh, dimensions then if you add this 20 plus d30 plus this 10 it gives you a total of uh, 60 you will draw a rectangle whose dimensions are 60 by 130 so still i'll activate my layer for views then i'll use the rectangle command i'll draw a rectangle dimensions are 130 press the tab key and here i'll feed in 60 press enter so i'll move this rectangle up to that point there then i'll highlight the rectangle and then i'll explode it such that it can be easy for me to offset any of the lines just in case i need to after that first offset of this 20 so from this line here i'll offset 20 so next i'll join this point to that point then also i'll join this point up to that point so after that remember at the topmost there is a circular block but its thickness is 10 millimeters away from the top surface. So right now, remember the total height here is 60. I'm going to offset 10 from this uh, line. So I'll highlight it. And I'll offset 10. I'll follow these projection lines to guide me in locating the isometric circle. So right here, I'll draw a line right there and also right there. So after that, I'll trim off that line and that line and also that line. 
and also those lines. Then after that, from this line here still, I'll offset 10. That 10 that I've offset, it's the distance between this edge here and this edge here. So this 10 is consistent. So that's why I've offset it here. I think that is it. So so after that, there's the 30 here and also the 30 here. But according to our view here, the plan and the front that we are drawing, the 30 we already have it right here. So I'll just follow up the projection line. Then from this point here, I'll draw a line up to that point there. Then I'll just copy this line up to that point there. So after that, I'll trim off those other lines because they are, they are no longer needed at the moment. Then after that, I'll highlight that line. Then I'll offset 10. And also from this line, I'll offset 10. Then after that, I'll use the trim command and I'll trim off those lines that are excess. So after that, from the isometric block, the distance from this edge here up to this edge here is 30. So when we come back here to the AutoCAD interface, I'll highlight this edge here because it's it's the one that we have right here. So I'll highlight it, then I offset it at a distance of 30. So after that, I'll extend this line up to that point, and also up to that point. Then I'll use the trim command, I trim off that point, and also that point, and also bottom line is no longer needed according to the isometric block it's not part of the block I'll also extend those lines these two lines such that they meet this base so after that I'll trim off those ones okay so after that we are going to uh, indicate the circular hole. So after you putting those two lines to indicate the circular hole, you highlight them because remember, when you're standing right here and you're viewing this object from this direction here, you won't be able to see this in a circular hole. So we are going to indicate it as hidden so i'll click on the layer for hidden then we'll also activate that line for dashed to indicate that this line is dotted so this is our front elevation so next we are going to draw uh, the end elevation i'll activate my layer for projection lines and i'll click at the line command Then I'll project this line in this direction. I'll highlight it. Then next, I'll copy it to these uh, different points. The lines are kind of too many, but uh, I request that you be keen and follow up uh, until the end of this video. And please, uh, if you find something of helpful, don't forget to like the video and also support the channel by subscribing such that you can always uh, get notified whenever we upload other new content. So let's proceed. So I'll copy that line, that point, that point, that point, and also to that point. 
So something to note here, this line right here, you draw it at an angle of 45. So it should be at an angle of 45, right? So I hope it is visible. Then for the end elevation, we shall draw. I think it's a square because the height here is 60. And also here the height is 60. So I think it is a square. But it may not be necessary that it is a square. It depends on the views that you have and the dimensions accordingly. So next, you highlight it, then explode it. So after that, for the end elevation, you just uh, follow up these projection lines and you get each and everything automatically. So next, uh, we shall start with the circular block at the top. So I'll follow up this up to this point then i'll draw a line up to that point and also i'll follow up this projection line then also plus this one so i'll draw up a line from that point up to that point then next, I'll draw a line from this point up to that point there. So next, I'll trim off those lines. Make sure that uh, whatever part of the view that you finish, you trim off the excess ones to avoid confusion. Because as you can see, the lines are too many. So to avoid confusion, when you're trying to bring out the real shape of the view, make sure that you trim off whatever line you don't need. Okay, let's proceed. So after that, from um, this line here, we shall draw it right there. Then also, that other line for the footing, we shall draw it right there. But then, we shall indicate it as hidden. Okay? Then also, uh, this other line, we shall indicate it as hidden. So I'll just copy this line up to that point right there. So now remember for the circular hole, it runs from this point up to that point. That means the same thing right here. It runs from this point up to that point. So next, I'll draw that line. Then I'll just copy it to that point. So I'll indicate it as hidden because you won't be able to see it. So I think uh, that is it for the end elevation. So remember for the end elevation, we shall be uh, viewing each and everything from uh, this side. So imagine yourself standing at this point and you're viewing this object from this end here. You'll be uh, viewing this, but you won't be viewing this edge here which I've indicated here as hidden. Then also you'll be viewing this face here, but this edge here will be hidden, which I've indicated here as hidden. Then also this uh, top circular block, you'll be viewing it, but the circular hole won't be viewing it. Okay, that's why I've indicated it here as hidden. So let's proceed with uh, putting uh, the dimensions on the respective views. But for the dimensions, I'm going to be a little bit quick such that I don't make the video to be uh, longer. I no longer need these ones. I'll delete them. So after that, I'm going to trim off these excess projection lines such that I can make the work look neater.
Okay, hope we are all on the same track. I'll activate my layer for dimensions. So I think that is it with uh, putting the dimensions. What we are left with is to put uh, or to label uh, these views. I'll activate my layer for text. Now use the text command. copy it to these other views and after that I'll keep on editing this text. So this is end view. That's the front view. So I think you have come to the end of this video and if you have really found something of hopeful and it has added value to you, please uh, don't forget once again to like, subscribe uh, to the channel and also you can comment or you can also share this kind of content to your friends and relatives that you feel like they are in need of such a kind of content. Thanks for watching and we we'll meet next time.